Last week, Love Island stars Molly May and Tommy Fury announced the tragic news that their new puppy had died just a days after being brought home. Well, while the exact circumstances remain unclear, the puppy was found to have serious health problems which the couple were uh, unaware of. Well, sadly, this is all too common a story, according to vet Dr Scott Miller, who sees many examples in his clinic of sick puppies who have been bought unknowingly from irresponsible breeders or puppy farms. We'll be speaking to Dr Scott in just a moment about how you can find a reputable breeder and the signs to look out for. But first, let's talk to Sadie Slater, who found herself in a similar situation to Molly May. Sadie, thank you for joining us today. So you were, you were on the lookout for your first family pet. You've got two children and, and you looked around for about a month, didn't you? Yeah. So how did you find this puppy in particular? Um, it was just on a private animal website. And so you sort of understood to begin with, because they had obviously right now, you think, well, you want to go and see the puppies, you want to go and see if the, the parent of the puppy is there, you've got all these rules in your head. But because of COVID-19, that wasn't a, a, an option for you, was it? And the breeder said, you can't come and physically see the puppies. Yeah, I thought because she's um, an older woman, maybe she just didn't want me to have the risk of coming in her property. So I just agreed to meet her in a private car park. Right. And so when you um, the dog was handed over in the car park, um, we, did you get vaccination certificates and shipping and that sort of thing? Yeah, I got both um, slips and she gave me a puppy starter pack with the food and a scented mum blanket. And so how was... Uh, because Bear is the name of the is the name of the puppy. So how was Bear when you got him? Um, he was eating fine, but he he kept like um, pooing about ten times a day, and I just thought, oh, maybe that's normal. And then um, on the second day, he was pooing ten times a day again, and was a bit loose, but I didn't think much of it. And then on the third day, um, he started having mucusy blood in his poo and stopped eating and so I took him to the vet and they um, said maybe he's just a bit stressed about moving away from mum and um, yeah what, that's why at what, at what point did the vet come because I because I uh, had not heard of this um, this virus uh, parvovirus um, at what point was that mentioned um, well, that was on day four. On day three, they sent me away with just a bit of medication to firm his stall. Yep. On the fourth day, he stopped eating completely and um, started like being sick with really watery diarrhea. And then I took him in and they said, oh, he's really dehydrated. He's got a fast um, pulse. He needs IV fluids. And um, I didn't see him for like five days after that. And I just got phone calls on and off. Um, saying one minute, oh, he's really um, picking up now, he's eating a bit, and then the next it's, oh, no, he's not eating, he's going back downhill. So how is he now, then? Um, he's still on recovery food, but he is getting there. Mm. I mean, you, you reported the, the website where the dog came from to the RSPCA and trading standards as well. Do you... I mean, obviously, Bear is there now and you, you wouldn't change it for the world, but do you... I mean, would your advice to others to be careful about where you get puppies from? I mean, do you have any regrets? Um, if I could go back, I would definitely, like, go to a licensed breed or maybe wait until the prices of puppies go back down again because at the moment people are using the virus as, like, a good time to put the prices up for dogs. So I'll definitely go to somebody who's KCE registered and um, has insurance, possibly. Well, I mean, you went back to the vet that um, that actually treated Bear, who gave him the vaccinations, and the seller did not have a breeding license. You got a fake name and a fake address on the on the uh, vaccination papers. What do you uh, what do you say to that woman if she's watching? I would say that she needs to stop doing what she's doing because um, my my dog could have easily have died if I didn't take him to the vet at the right time. So I definitely think that she she needs to stop what she's doing and, like, yeah, it's, it's just hard to say, really. Yeah, well, it's cruel to everybody, your family, the dog, of course. Um, uh, Dr Scott, uh, nice to speak to you today. I mean, this you hear this problem an awful lot, sadly. Unfortunately, I have had two cases exactly the same as Sadie where owners have unsuspectingly bought puppies um, in this sort of circumstance. Uh, people are using COVID as a bit of a cloak. So, yes, you know, don't you come to us, we'll come to you. Uh, they're, dropping they're dropping dogs off to people's houses. 
Uh, and people have, unfortunately, not been taking uh, the advice that we've been chatting about over the last few months about maybe not getting puppies um, during the lockdown and thinking, actually, maybe it is a good time for, for me to spend um, on training my puppy. Um, but what's happening is that there's now a, a nationwide puppy shortage, um, and it's meaning that younger puppies are being pushed down into the market earlier. And, of course, we are now seeing dogs being purchased from overseas where there is absolutely no accountability when it comes to the breeder uh, and the uh, the health conditions that the puppy comes from. So uh, um, we saw over the weekend uh, poor Molly May and uh, and her uh, little puppy that that died with, and it really had very serious uh, health problems. We don't know any other circumstances than that. I know that, that tragically she's been trolled so much um, online that she's uh, had a rest from social media for a bit. But so I say that what I, you know, we. we this gave us the idea for the item, but we don't know what necessarily has happened there. However, what are the situations if you are going to buy a puppy from Europe? Well, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't recommend it because when you think about it, it's a baby animal being transported for miles um, in stressful situations um, and being taken away from from their mum in order to do so. So it's just a terrible start to any puppy's life to have such a stressful situation be forced upon them. So I would say to anyone that's thinking, I want to I'll buy a dog, there's none for me to buy in England, I should be buying them um, abroad. Well, please don't. Um, unfortunately, uh, you may remember a few weeks back when I was at Battersea Dogs Home, we talked about Lucy's Law. It's a wonderful piece of legislation that's been championed by a good mate of mine um, and fellow vet, Mark Abram. Uh, and it's basically to try and put a, a kibosh onto the puppy uh, farm. So basically by doing so, it means that, um, you know, they have to have very good, high quality um, husbandry where they're from. They must be sold with their mum. Uh, and then the puppies, of course, um, need to be sold from the place of birth. So, you know, to try and buy a dog from overseas, how are you ever going to be able to, to check any of those things at all? Uh, and the way they're getting around Lucy's law is because rather than being uh, a dealer or a seller, they're actually acting as an agent. It's just semantics. But it means that the puppy, rather than coming through this third party seller, which is illegal as a result of Lucy's law, they're going straight from the breeder in Russia to the new owner, which, you know, I, I would say again to, to Molly May, um, I, you know, I, I, I totally understand how upset you must be. I think for a lot of people, they are being caught up in this web uh, and it isn't something that, um, you know, people want to buy a puppy um, and realise that they're going to be sick um, and, and die just two days later. It's clear that that puppy had some fairly significant health problems which she wasn't being made aware of, and it's unlikely that the dog was also vaccinated for exactly the same reason uh, as Sadie, uh, that she said that, you know, she got this puppy and it was unvaccinated. It's very likely that this young puppy has been brought into the country with fake paperwork, fake information, and unfortunately has died as a result. Yeah, and, I mean, of course, we, as Phil said, we don't know the ins and outs of that situation at all. Um, adoption, is that just more suitable? Absolutely. Look, adopt, don't shop. You know, I'd love to, to see that, you know, whilst there is a period of time where there aren't enough puppies in the UK, then please go to local rescue centres and try and adopt puppies or, or, or older dogs wherever you can. We can make sure that they are very suited to you and your home. But as far as actually choosing puppies, if you ever are thinking about buying a puppy online, first of all, do your research. Um, check who is actually selling it. Search them online. See if they've uh, there's any um, reviews or feedback. And also be a bit of a super sleuth. So put the phone number into the search engine and see if it's on multiple sites. If it's on multiple sites, it's almost certain to be dodgy or they might be actually trying to sell more than one breed of puppy. Clearly, that isn't the breeder but a third-party seller. Check the age of the animal. They must be at least eight weeks. They must have a vaccination uh, and they must have a microchip. And finally, of course, check the animal's health records. If the, the, the breeder or the person selling it is at all a little bit nervous about you asking any questions regarding health, then please just walk away. Uh, thank you, Scott. And, uh, and finally, to Sadie, I mean, this is, uh, if ever there was a, a reason to be careful, how much did Bear cost you? 1,900, which is about 900 pounds, probably more than what it normally is. And how much are your vet bills so far? 2,000 pounds. Oh, right. Goodness. So there you go. There's the, uh, there's the lesson. Sadie, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you.